Number 15 then, the last question in paper one. The last question in paper one of the 2015 new hire. Six marks, and what you've got is a differential equation. In other words, you've got the derivative, and you have to go back to the original equation, express t in terms of small t. Well, what is it? What's this all meant to be about? The rate of change of temperature, that's the temperature of a mug of coffee, is given by this expression. And t's within this range here. And t's in minutes. So that means this is the temperature of that coffee if you're to watch it for up to 50 minutes, measuring its temperature all the time. This gives you some more information here. K is a constant initially. Now, initially says t equals zero. That means at the start, so here's up here, at t equals zero, the temperature is 100. Which is unlikely, isn't it? When you put it, it doesn't matter. And 10 minutes later, so when t equals 10, the temperature has fallen to, not fallen by, has fallen to 82 degrees. Express t, big t, in terms of wee t. But it is coffee. Mm. So the first thing then is, if that's the derivative, you'll have to undo the derivative, you'll have to integrate. And the first mark is just for knowing to integrate. So as soon as you write t equals the integral of, that'd be the first mark. Well, put it up here. Of course, sometimes you might not even do that. You might just go ahead with whatever the integral is. But knowing to integrate, so that means to get t, I need to integrate this expression. I'm going to integrate 1 upon 25t minus k. Notice it's dt. That comes across here. So that's the first mark. Now, there's actually two marks for the integration. Well, it's fairly straightforward. You can add 1 to the power, divide by the power. So for this term, it would be its power 1. It goes up to power 2. Divide by 2 bumps the denominator of 25 up to double that. So it's up to 50. And the k, the constant term, go up to a kt term. And the next two marks come from giving 1 to that and 1 to that in either order. That seems a bit generous. And there's no mention of having a mark for putting in, of course, plus c, which is crucial to this. Although the next mark is for finding the value of that. But anyway, there's the first three marks. Knowing to integrate and carrying out the integration, however they decided to put these parts in. Usually it would be one mark for this and one for knowing to put in a constant. And now you start to use these to figure out the parts. First thing's this. Using, because there are two unknowns, so normally you'd think, oh no, if I've got two unknowns, I need two separate equations. And of course, these do form two separate equations, except with t equals zero, that forms a trivial case because that's going to knock out k. So using the first one, t equals zero and t, capital T equals 100 means you can say this, 100 would equal, and of course that will be zero, we'll just put it in anyway, and that will be zero plus c, so c equals 100. That's worth a mark. That means I can now write this as it's 1 50th of t squared minus kt plus 100. I'm getting closer. I've only got one thing to find. I need some more information, and that was the second piece. If t is 10, at time 10 minutes, the temperature was now 82. So feeding that in. 82 is 1 50th of, and that'll be 10. Ooh jump straight to the answer, 10 squared minus 10 times k plus 100, then this is all just a piece of arithmetic obviously, because here you've got 100 divided by 50 is 2, so you've got 102, take away the 82 is 20, bringing that over is 10k, so k equals 2, that was a mark, but then finally for the sixth mark it was just a case of put it all back together. We'd already put it back partly here. So finally we can say, where can we put it? t equals 1 50th of t squared minus 2t plus 100. And that was the sixth mark.